want to get me a chance. Right? Tell me. Tell me how real. And I get people all the time like, yo, we should do this. We need to invest in this, do that. Like, how do you, how do you realize that, okay, hey, that's the one I want to do. You guys did Blaze Pizza. Like, how do you come to that conclusion? I can be quite frank about Blaze. It's like, do you like pizza? That simple. I fucking love pizza. pizza. There's a chain that's going out. First one was going on UC Irvine here in California. And Mav was like, yo, it's, it's an hour and 35 minute ride. That dude. was the fight, by the way. That was the fight. I was, was like, I'm not fight. going. I'm How'd like, you get it? Listen, I'm, <laughs> tell, I'm telling you the real story. Mav was like, it's an hour and 35 from the hotel. It's long. I was like, I'm not going an hour and 35 for a slice of fucking pizza. <laughs> he was like, do you do you want do you love pizza? Like, do we got a chance to get like? Do, I was like, <laughs> was, am I lying? We we really fought. And, and I, I'm thinking it's the most ridiculous thing in the world. It's like it's an hour and a half drive to go look at a business that that we're gonna be two of the founders of. That's a I'm fantastic opportunity. Like, I, don't want a slice. I can get a slice. Yeah, of but pizza if I told him this, <laughs> yeah, but if I said there's an hour and a half drive to you know go do go you know bowl. watch a concert or the bowl, signing him up. I'm yeah. like this is. Great. But those are the things, those are the things that, that we yeah. go back and so forth on. That, that's exactly how it happened. We, I yeah. got my ass in the back of that SUV. We took the trip down there. Didn't speak to me the whole way. Didn't speak to him the whole way until after I had my, my pizza. And, and when I like, had my oh, pizza this is in genius. one and a half minutes, I was like, game over. Yeah, I'm going to walk this campus too. <laughs> <laughs> you should tell them the paranoia now as you use that similar characteristic. A lot of our guys that we've invested in, they had that thing. Man, I'm just always trying to grow as a ball player. I feel like you need to continue to keep getting better, keep striving for something, no matter how good you got. And when you take a break or you're not thinking about it, not focusing on it, for me, it just felt like, you know, something was creeping up behind me. And I just always wanted to stay ahead of it. We talked to a couple people who said they had that same feeling. It just made me feel right about it. I thought I was going through something a little deeper than that, you know what I'm saying? But to see people that we get to talk to and do business with and we get to meet, they have that same thing that we have as athletes, but it's just channeled in a different direction, which is cool. It's the same thing you guys answered in a different way was he had that thing in here. So yeah, the numbers got to make sense on the deals and we're going to analyze and we know trends and we know where businesses are going, but you can't put a dollar into somebody if you don't believe in them. I remember the first time I started learning about business, it was from hip hop. It was from listening to lyrics and starting to be like, yo, did he just? Probably me too. Yeah, did he just say that? <laughs> My grandmother ran an after hours where she ran basically a casino in the hood. <laughs> where they played pity pat and shot yep. craps and yep. played poker on Friday and Saturday nights. And I learned little things, but I didn't know I was learning them. She gave the food away for free. And that was so, if you got hungry, you didn't leave. You just right. stayed there and you ate and you gambled.